And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you simple mirror effects. You can use these to create these typical kaleidoscope effects that you might have seen in music videos. I've got a simple clip right here. It's important for the clip to have some movement and it looks best when you've got lighting effects. Type in mirror into your effects panel and then drag and drop the mirror distortion on your footage. If you can't find these menus just go to window, effect controls and effects, that's what we need. In effect controls we can now see the mirror effect, nothing has really happened to our footage. And if I select it you can see right here this icon which is now the center of the mirror effect. I can just left click and drag it, for example to the center. Or can adjust it right here with the reflection center, just click on it and then use your mouse. And that has already mirrored our footage, let me make that invisible so that's the original. And this is with the mirror effect. But there's a second option that we can use, which is the reflection angle for now. So by default it's zero. But if I move it, you can see that our footage is now folded in different angles. Let me use minus 90 degrees, which works very well for this footage. And now we've already got this abstract kaleidoscope effect. But you are not limited to just using it once. You can just drag and drop the mirror effect once again on your footage. And now we've got two. So the one on top was the one we've already adjusted. And the second right here, we've got a new rotation sensor. I can drag that to the center and therefore even amplify this mirror effect or multiply this mirror effect to create very abstract results. So for now I've just used it statically, you can also add animations. I'll just show you this quickly. I'll use the reflection angle for the second mirror effect. So I go to the starting position, click on the clock icon. Let me go to the end position and I'm going to add a new keyframe. And let me set that uh, to minus 180 and now I'll play the clip. And now this fold is animated, but you can also see these black areas. So you might have to scale your video up a little bit so that you don't have black areas on top, bottom, left or right. But there's yet another effect that you can add on top. And this is how you can create these mirror or kaleidoscope effects for videos in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.